Hi, welcome to Fast Electric Bike. Now we've uh, established the battery has finished the end of its life after uh, over two and a half years being used daily, recharging a couple of times a day. It's time to take it apart and see what it's actually made of. Now I was told there was about 50 of these 18650 cells in there. But let's actually have a look, shall we? As it's useless now, all I'm going to do is throw it away, so I might as well cut it open and see inside. Just cut this uh, blue shrink wrap and see what it reveals. At least it's more than one layer thick, which is uh, good. So I was worried it was a bit on the thin side. When you start to damage it and I start to have to tape it up. It's quite tough as well, actually. Not the easiest thing to take off. There's some, something else inside. Ah, so it looks like it's got two layers of this outer bit here. Peel this one off. Let's see what we find. Don't want to cut too deep just in case I cut something. It gives me a shock. Ooh. Ah, some extra uh, black kind of um Almost like rubbery in texture, or a bit kind of like a foam, uh, like that thin black foam uh, padding. Uh, I think we're getting somewhere now. Uh, this side's obviously the more delicate side. Let's get some of the wiring and stuff on it. I'm trying to make sure I keep the wires intact so that I can uh, rebuild it potentially if I get some new batteries. So basically this is lots of sellotape and some black kind of spongy foam padding. That's uh, interesting. It seems to be stuck quite solid. Let's just go in between the two cells here and see what we have. Looks like a pink cell to me. I've seen these on the AliExpress site, these pink cells. 
And indeed, that appears what we have here. And it gives you some numbers on it as well. 18650 Samson and whatever that says 26 F S D I 2 D C 2 not really sure what all that means but we'll look it up later on Let's cut in between the cells here Obviously this has to protect, ah, here we go, where all the bits join together. Very securely wrapped together. And all these are obviously uh, welded or joined somehow. I think they're mini spot welds. So hopefully, if I can order another set of batteries, um, do a bit of research on how to spot weld them together then we should be able to remake one so uh, that'll be the next video in a few weeks once I've figured that out but yeah there you go lots and lots of batteries and this is, I guess, is what they call the BMS, the battery management system. Must be this circuit board here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven by seven uh, times two, which equals lots of batteries. Uh, let's spin it around, try and get this open here. See if we can find some more interesting wiring. Alright, so these row is connected to this and they all connect to this circuit board here. And everything's very well padded together, which is good to see, to be honest. There's a lot of people warn you against buying these kind of uh, batteries because they say they're you should always get one in a metal case in case they you drop it and it explodes but uh, luckily that hasn't happened yet I thought this would take a couple of minutes, but it's taking a lot longer. I'm going to be a little bit careful so I don't destroy all the circuitry so that I could potentially reuse it. We've got that side off now. I have to get hold of some of this sticky foam to put it all back together. And there we go, a similar arrangement on the bottom. And a circuit board. We've just got all of these things all wired together. And yeah, then it comes out to the uh, the charger and my uh, the charger point, which is a standard one. And uh, this is the biggest connector I could find. This is actually used for mains powers. Just because the cheap ones keep wearing out. But yeah, there we go. That's what the inside looks like. 
thanks for watching hopefully i'll figure out where to buy some from i'll stick a link on here it's probably going to be aliexpress i've seen some of these before they are pretty expensive if you buy them in your native country like in this country i think it's about 250 quid but if you look around aliexpress hopefully i'll be able to find it cheaper more like 70 odd order a set of these and uh, wire it together and do you another video and let you know how it goes all right thanks for watching fast electric bike hope this was helpful don't forget to subscribe for the uh, the next video in the series and uh, thanks for watching see you next time